Pump Station A is the only lift station in the city. Wastewater is pumped to a higher level using Wimco Hydro Stall Pumps for the prison wastewater and ABS Centrifugal Pumps for the city wastewater which sends the waste to the Headworks B. Headworks B. When the wastewater reaches the plant headworks, grit and grease is removed. The bar screens also remove solids such as rags. Once the screening process is complete, the wastewater flows to the aeration basin D. Aeration Basin D. The aeration basin is where the bugs, vital for the activated sludge process, are kept. To keep these bugs alive and healthy, oxygen is supplied to the mixed liquor via large mixers that keep it evenly mixed. Food from incoming wastewater keeps the bugs fed. After mixing for a period of time, the wastewater then flows to the clarifiers E. Clarifiers E. Detention time for the wastewater in the clarifiers is between 2 to 4 hours, which allows sludge to settle to the bottom and scum to rise to the top. The sweeper arms on the top pushes scum into a trough while the arms on the bottom pushes sludge into the center hopper at the bottom. Both scum and sludge are gravity fed into the RAS-WAS, return activated sludge, waste activated sludge tank. On average, 50,000 gallons of sludge is wasted to the WAS tanks GA and GB for solids processing. The rest is returned to the mixed liquor in the aeration basin D. Once the scum and sludge are removed in the clarifiers, the water then flows to the UV disinfection F building. UV Disinfection F. The final stage of wastewater treatment process is UV disinfection. The water moves through two channels of UV light bulbs which disinfects the water and makes it ready and safe to enter the environment.
Let's go back to the waste activated sludge that has been sent to the digesters GA and GB. The sludge, while in these tanks, are constantly being mixed via diffused aerators. Once enough sludge is accumulated, it is sent from GA and GB to the open tank GC. The sludge is allowed to decant. In this process, the sludge is not aerated but allowed to sit still. The sludge settles to the bottom and a gate periodically lowers, allowing water to flow off the top of the sludge. Once the sludge is decanted of water, more sludge from GA and GB are pumped into GC to thicken the consistency of the sludge. It is then pumped from GC to the belt press for further solids removal. Polymer is added to the sludge which binds the solids together allowing the rest of the water to be squeezed out in the press. Once the sludge, which is now cake, is separated from the water, it falls into an auger which in turn moves and drops the sludge into an awaiting dump truck. The sludge is then hauled to an awning covered pad on prison property and dumped into rows. Twice a week the sludge is aerated using a brown bear attached to a tractor to dry the sludge. In spring and fall the sludge stockpile is ready for land application. Samples are taken and tested and is then loaded into a slinger attached to a tractor and is spread out on designated sections of the farm fields maintained by LCF.